Welcome to Smart Math. Our today's episode is about Polya's four steps in problem solving. Learning objectives. Number one, to recognize and apply Polya's four steps in problem solving. Number two, to enhance their problem solving skills in real life applications. George Polya was a Hungarian who immigrated to the United States in 1940. His major contribution is for his work in problem solving. In 1945, he published the book How to Solve It, which quickly became his his most prized publication. It sold over 1 million copies and has been translated into 17 languages. In this text, he identifies four basic principles. Let's have an example for Polya's four steps in problem solving. Number relation problem. As there are a variety of concerns in life, so too are there variety of word problems in mathematics. Read and understand how Polya's four steps in problem solving are used. The following examples. Problem number one. Twice the difference of a number and one is more than that number. Find the number. Step 1. Understand the problem. Make sure that you read the question carefully several times. Meaning, you have to read the questions as many as you can. If you understand the question already, then you move on. Since we are looking for a number, we let x equal to a number. Step 2. Devise a plan or translate twice the difference of a number and one. Two closing open parentheses x minus one is represents the equal sign. Four more than that number x plus four. Step three carry out the plan or solve. Our equation is Two closing open parentheses x minus one is equal to x plus four. We use distributive property on two multiplied by x minus one. We multiply two to x minus one. Two times x is two x. Two times negative one is negative two. Then we just copy x plus four. Then we get all the x terms on one side. 2x minus x is equal to 4 plus 2. That's why our answer is x is equal to 6. Step 4. Look back or check and interpret. If you take twice the difference of 6 and 1, that is the same as 4 more than 6. So, this does check. The final answer, the number is 6, meaning the value of x is equal to 6. Looking back to our previous equation, 2 multiplied by x minus 1 equals x plus 4. Through a substitution of the value of x which is equal to 6, then we have 2 multiplied by 6 minus 1 is equal to 6 plus 4. Both equation will have a value of 10. This means that our equation or the value is perfectly correct. Now let's have geometry problems. Problem number 2. In a blueprint of a rectangular room, the length is 1 inch more than three times the width. Find the dimension if the perimeter is to be 26 inches. 
perimeter of rectangle is equal to 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. In mathematical equation, we have P is equal to 2L plus 2W. Step 1. Understand the problem. Let W equal to width. Length is 1 inch more than 3 times the width. In mathematical equation, we have 1 plus W is equal to the length. Step 2. Device a plan. Perimeter of rectangle is equal to 2 multiplied by the length plus 2 multiplied by the width. The perimeter of the rectangle is equal to 26. The length is equal to 1 plus 3W. That's why we have an equation 26 is equal to 2 times 1 plus 3W plus 2 of weight. Step 3. Carry out the plan. From the equation, 26 is equal to 2 times 1 plus 3W plus 2W. On the second equation, we eliminate the bracket by simply using distributive property. We multiply 2 to 1 and that is 2. Then 2 to 3W and that is 6W. That's why we have an equation 26 is equal to 2 plus 6W plus 2W. On the third equation, we simply add 6W plus 2W and we arrive with 8W. On the fourth equation, we use subtraction property of equality. We add negative 2 on both sides, from the left and the right. Then, we got 24 is equal to 8W. Then, we use division property of equality. We divide both sides by 8. So, we got W equal to 3. Step 4. Look back or check and interpret. If we this 3, then... Which is 1 inch more than 3 times the width would have to be 10. The perimeter of a rectangle with width of 3 inches and length of 10 inches does come out to be 26. The final answer would be width is 3 inches, length is 10 inches. To understand that clearly, let's go back with our equation of the perimeter of the rectangle. P is equal to 2L plus 2W. By substitution, P is equal to 26. L is equal to 3. W equals to 10. That's why we have an equation. 26 is equal to 2 times 3 plus 2 times 10. Then the right side is equal to 26. Now, let's go to investment problem. Problem number 3. I purchased a TV at a local electronics store for about $541.25, which included tax. If the tax rate is 8.25%, find the price of the TV before they added the tax. Step 1. Understand the problem. Let x equal to price of the TV before tax add. Step 2. Devise a plan. The original price plus 8.25% tax will be you the purchasing cost of 541.25. In mathematical equation, we have x plus 0.0825x is equal to 541.25. Step 3. Carry out the plan. From the given equation, x plus 0.0825x is equal to 541.25. We add x plus 0.0825x. Then, we arrive with 1.0 
8 to 5x. Then, we just copy 541.25 at the right side. After that, we divide both sides by 1.0825. Then, we arrive with a final answer of 500. Step 4. Looking back. If you add on 8.25% tax to 500, you will get 141.25. So, the final answer or the original price is $500. Problem number 4. Work problem. Andy can paint the house in 8 days. And his brother can paint the same house in 6 days. How long will it take for them to do painting together? Step 1. Understand the problem. Let x equal the number of days required for them to paint the house together. 1 over x is equal to the part of the house they can paint in one day. 1 over 8 is equal to the part of the house Andrew can paint in one day. 1 over 8 is equal to the part of the house Andrew's brother can paint in one day. Step 2. Device a plan. 1 over 8 plus 1 over 6 equals 1 over x. 1 over 8 is 1 house over 8 days of Andrew. Well, 1 over 6 is 1 house over 6 days of brothers Andrew. Step 3. Carry out the plan. Equation 1 over 8 plus 1 over 6 is equal to 1 over x. If you're going to notice on a second equation, we have 6 plus 8 over 48 is equal to 1 over x. We get 48 from the LCD. By adding 6 plus 8, we have 14. Then we copy the denominator 48. So our equation now is 14 over 48 is equal to 1 over x. Then we use cross multiplication. That's why we got 14x is equal to 48. Then we divide both sides by 14 to eliminate 14 from 14x. So our final answer now is x is equal to 48 over 14 or 3 and 3 over 7 days. Step 4. Look back. So the final answer now would be they can paint the house together in 3 and 3 over 7 days. Problem number 5. Coin problem. Coin purse contains 5 cents, 10 cents, and 25 cents coins. The number of 10 cents coins is 3 times as many as 5 cents coin. And the 25 cents coins is 2 more than the 10 cents coin. If the total value of each contents is 4.90 pesos, how many of each kind of coins are in the purse? Step 1. Understand the problem. From the given statement, it is stated there that the 10 cents is 3 times the 5 cents. That's why we have 3x is equal to the number of 10 cents coin. So, if this is our first equation, then we can say that x is equal to the number of 5 cents coin. Then, from the given statement, 25 cents coin is 2 more than the 10 cents coin. 10 cents plus 2, where 10 cents is 3x. That's why we got 3x plus 2, not 10 plus 2, or 0 0.10 plus 2. Again, we got 3x plus 2 because 3x stands for 10 cents. 
The plus two is from the word to more than. Now, let's move on to step two. Step two, device a plan. Now, our equation is 0.05x plus 0.10 multiplied by 3x plus 0.25 multiplied by 3x plus 2 equal to 4.90. As you can see guys, instead of writing 5, we don't write it as 5. We write it 0 0.5. Because that is in a centavo. We also write 0 0.10 instead of 10. 0 0.25 instead of 25. Step 3. Carry out the plan. Equation is 0 0.05x plus 0 0.10 times 3x plus 0 0.25 multiplied by 3x plus 2 is equal to 4.90. Our second equation is 1.1x is equal to 4.90 minus 0 0.5. Our second equation was derived from 0 0.5x plus 0 0.3x plus Close in open parenthesis, 0.75x plus 0.5 is equal to 4.9. Then, we group the same terms. As you can see, the 0.5 was moved to the right side. That's why it is negative 0.5 this time. By adding all the x terms, which are 0.5x plus 0.3x, plus 0.75x, we got 1.1x. Then, we subtract 4.9 to 0.5 and we have 4.4. So, our equation would be 1.1x is equal to 4.4. Then, we divide both sides by 1.1 to eliminate 1.1 from 1.1x. So, we cancel out 1.1 to the left side and then we divide 4.4 to 1.1 therefore the final answer would be x is equal to 4 step 4 look back solving for x x is equal to 4 meaning we have 4 5 cents coin then we have 3x or 3 multiplied by 4 and that is 12 so, meaning we have 12, 10 coins. And then, we have 3x plus 2 or 3 multiplied by 4 plus 2 is equal to 14. So, we have 14, 25 cents. The final answer would be there are 4 in 5 cents coin, 12 in 10 cents coin, and 14 for the 25 cents coin.